Hi guys, Scott Hutter here and my name is Anil Deshpande. We ended the previous video with premise that we will have a look at how to make a JSON object request using Wally. So I am sure you are wondering how to get started with that. Well, the first thing that you have to do is add the dependency of using this particular library in your Android application. Well, that is pretty easy. You have to add this particular line in your application's Gradle build file. We are basically using the latest version of Wally at the time of publishing this particular video. The next aspect is how do I actually code? To put it simply, the first thing that you will be doing is you will be setting up the queue, queue in which you will be adding your HTTP request and then you will set up the request object itself. What do I mean by request object? Basically get request, post request, put, delete, the header information, basically all the ritual that you typically do to set up a request. And then you will have to use certain interfaces to handle the response responses from the request. One particular such interface is response.listener and it will be having a method called as on response and the parameter it receives is JSON object and it is in this particular method where you will be basically getting the response back on the UI thread and you will be updating the UI and then there is a, another method which is response.errorListener with the method called as on error response and the argument is volley error which basically helps you to handle any of the errors that you might be getting while doing these API calls. And probably the most final aspect is once this setup of queue and request object is done along with the handler, you will have to add this whole request object to the queue. And once you add it to the queue, the library will take over and take that particular request from the queue, execute it, give back the responses to the listeners, that is response listener and error listener. So enough of theory, let's get into a demo and understand how this code looks. So this is the same old code base that I am using. If you recall, this is the application that we had written where I have a register dialog. On click of the register button, I should register my user with the backend, which is basically a post request. And that handling will be written here. As I explained earlier, the first step is you need to set up the queue. So there is something called as request queue and you can get that request queue with volley dot new request queue and you have to pass the context. So in this case, it would be get activity dot get application context. So once request queue has been set up, we need to set up the request itself, but we need to pass payload. So let us construct the payload. That is pretty straightforward. I will be just copy pasting the code from the previous video where we created JSON object and we created the author with author email id author name and author password and we are done with creating a json object which will go in as a payload the next aspect is we need to create a url which will go as a part of the request that is once again pretty straightforward we have a rest apis dot get base url then we have to append to do api dot register author so that will give us the url and now it is time to set up the request itself in this case we will would be setting up JSON object request, new JSON object request. So we will be using the first one where the first argument is the request type. So in this case, it is a post request. It is an integer constant and then you have to pass URL. The next argument is the JSON object. So in this case, it is author JSON object that we just instantiated. And then the next argument is listener. So it would be new response listener. And final argument is new error listener. Inside the error listener, we have a progress bar. We will make that set visibility equals to invisible and then we will dismiss the dialog box and in case of successful response we will just go through the same old ritual wherein we will make the progress bar visibility invisible towards the message registration success whatever the response that we have got we have to parse it into author and then then dismiss the dialog box but we have not yet executed the request that is done with request queue dot add json object request and that will basically trigger the request it may not actually trigger the request in purest sense it will just add it to the request queue and it will be responsibility of cache dispatcher 
user to take up this particular request and then give it to the network threads and it is the network threads that will be doing the actual work so let me run this let me run it in the debug mode and i click on the register button here as you can see here we are basically creating the author object then we are getting inside the ease app online condition check we want to basically do this once the internet is available and working for the application we are setting up the queue and then we are setting up the url and once the url has been set up you can observe here what are all the different values the application is maintaining for different objects at this particular stage then add it to the request queue and we will go ahead we will get back the response here so as you can see here we have got the response we need to pass it and set it to the author and we are going to basically dismiss the dialog so registration success has been done so what we have done here is a very bare minimum volley request there are quite a number of enhancements and fine tuning that we need to do to basically make it usable in a production scenario so we will be building on top of this to add newer and newer features and customizations for the next few videos so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye